Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is December 27, 2020, and I want to share with you uh, about a comet that was discovered on December 13th. Now, this was an amazing, uh, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of uh, uh, pieces of information about this, but the first thing we want to see is that this comet was discovered on December 13th, and it was spotted at the same time as the total solar eclipse on December 14th. Comet C 2020X3 Soho is a comet that was that showed up. Uh, a sun diving comet that uh, showed up at the exact hour of the total solar eclipse. Okay, so as it is shown here, C 2020X3 was discovered by Thai amateur astronomer Warachit Boonplod on the NASA funded SunGrazer project, a citizen science project that invites anyone to search for and discover new comets in Soho images. Boonplod spotted the comet on December 13, 2020, the day before the December 14th total solar eclipse. The astronomer knew the eclipse was coming and was eager to see whether C 2020X3 might appear in the sun's outer atmosphere as a small speck in eclipse photographs. And So it, okay, so I want to share this clip with you now, okay? So this comet that was found on December 13th showed up, and I shared this video on my channel, and uh, let's uh, watch a clip of this here. Here's the sun diving comet that went right into the CME. And this again was during pretty much totality of the eclipse. The comet's right down here. Watch, it's a sun diving comet. We've seen them before, but they're actually kind of rare. See right there, you don't see them very often. And for that to occur during a total eclipse is actually kind of rare. Okay, so okay, so we have this comet now. Now I'm going to take you to Stellarium, and we're going to look at uh, the uh, the path of this. Now, before we do that, I want to share with you that this information I found off of this uh, brother's channel, Chetus Culture, and. Um, he is sharing about this comet and how this is becoming a, um, this is a pretty amazing information, how at the exact moment of the eclipse, okay, the marriage covenant stone at the exact hour of the eclipse, we had the sun, the moon, and Mercury there, and then this comet came by, and it's like this covenant stone, and, um, And so I wanted to share with you guys from Stellarium. Okay, so I want to thank uh, Chadish Culture for his uh, information about this. Okay, now let us go here. Okay, I want to go to Stellarium. And I want to show you this comment. I was actually able to add this into my Stellarium program. Um, you have to add uh, comets uh, into the, the uh, not all the comets show up, so you can do that in the configurations. Um, and um, anyway, okay, so here, here what we have is, this is December 14th. If we look down here on the bottom right, we'll see that this is December 14th. 
okay? This comet was discovered one day previous. Now, we're going to see here how all of this is going to come together, and this, and this comet's going to go right through the total solar eclipse. Okay, here we have the sun, the moon, and Mercury, okay? And we're going to watch this, and I'm going to, I'm going to play it forward uh, at medium speed, and, and we're going to we're going to watch this go through the total solar eclipse okay so let's move this forward now okay there okay see how it's in the total solar eclipse there and it's coming through it's just coming through the image and it actually goes right there, right by the moon. Yeah, this was the perihelion event as it's coming around. Okay, see how it stays right there in the in the. Uh, it came around. It made a swipe around the sun. Okay, now, this is later, on the, later in the day on December 14th. Now, we're going to watch this. I may speed this up a little bit. Because I want to see where we're going to be here at the end of the year. Now, this piece of information that this brother brought, is amazing okay now let's let's uh, speed this up a little bit and see what is going to happen with this comet okay we see it coming into scorpion we see it coming into the constellation of scorpion going to be here from about the 15th of December. See how long it takes to get through the constellation of Scorpion. Speed this up just a little bit. Oops. This is the 22nd of December, okay? We didn't lose, uh, we just got a little dizzy there, but uh, we're, we're still on the 22nd of December. Okay, so I'm going to go back and, and go to a general speed. Again, now we're going to see what is going to happen after we come out of Scorpion. Okay. I want to speed it up a little bit more. But if I do that, then it's going to get, uh, we're not going to be able to watch it. So what this brother shared from Shadish culture, culture is that, uh, okay, as it came out of Scorpion, then it's going to come through the altar, the altar, the fire of the altar in the constellation of Era. Ara, okay. Okay, so it's coming through there around the 20, 29th of December. And now we're going to Come up now to the end of the year, December 31st and January 1st, and see exactly what happens to the comet, where it is on January 1st. So look at exactly where this comet is on January 1st. It's the exact point of the 
of the uh, triangle constellation. And so what this brother was sharing, okay, go back here. His brother was sharing is that this is creating like the capstone and on this on this uh, video here okay if we go into this video here See what he has to say about this. Let's see what he has to say about this. Okay, hold on, guys. Let's go from here. On the celestial gospel calendar, and you just cannot make any of this up. This calendar was given to me through 20 plus years of researching the stars and the heavens and books and manuscripts. Okay, so... Um, I, I really don't understand the difference um, of this calendar, okay? I, I, I can't um, speak for the calendar he's sharing. Um, I've seen, I've been watching all the signs based on the Hebrew calendar. And I think that we have a sign that began on midweek Hanukkah. The comet was found on the day before it came through the total solar eclipse midweek Hanukkah was our sign and now we have we're brought to the beginning of the year and we have the capstone which is the all-seeing eye on the top of the pyramid basically the beginning okay now okay let's see here go back to Stellarium Okay, January 1st, right here. Now, let's do this before we close out of here too quickly. Let's go time and date. And let's go January 1st. Let's go 31st of December 2020, we're going to add 1260 days, which is the time given to the woman to fly into the wilderness, also the time given to the Antichrist, 42 month reign of the Antichrist. Where would this take us? Calculate new date, it would June 13th, 2024. I'm going to go to the Hebrew calendar, and we're going to go June 13th. Two thousand twenty-four, and we're going to calculate this, and it's the seventh day of Sivan, which is Passover. Not Passover. I'm sorry. This is Pentecost. This is Israel's seventy-seventh Pentecost. Okay, seventy weeks are determined. And then we have a seven year time frame, okay, from Israel's 70th Pentecost in 2017. We are right now at the midway point. And we're seeing the abomination being set up, which is the, the vaccinations. And then we have this mystery point. Okay, we have this mystery point here on December 31st and January 1st. 
of this comet being exactly the eye of the pyramid. Okay, so what, what interests me most about this, thank you, brother, for sharing this information on your channel. What interests me most about this is the connection to Midway Kanaka. It was exactly found as we were watching the total solar eclipse. We had another uh, comet coming in that was reaching perihelion on December 13th. And then as that was reaching per perihelion on December 13th, this comet showed up. And this comet, starting on Midway Kanaka, brings us to January 1st at the eye of the pyramid. Okay. So, I believe this is another confirmation about December 31st and January 1st. It's our 1260-day connection to Israel's 77th Pentecost, which would be the end of the seven years and the second coming of Jesus Christ on Pentecost. That would be perfect. 2020 would still be the year of our deliverance as the war begins in 2021. Okay, I pray you guys are blessed. I will leave links for you in the description box of all the articles I used and the link to this brother's channel. And uh, I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.